One side of the potato pits was white with frost. How wonderful that was! How wonderful! And when we put our ears to the paling post, the music that came out was magical. The light between the ricks of hay and straw was a hole in heaven's gable. An apple tree with its December glinting fruit we saw. Now and then I can remember something of the gay garden that was childhood's. Again, the tracks of cattle to a drinking place, a green stone lying sideways in a ditch, or any common sight, the transfigured face of a beauty that the world did not touch. My father played the melodeon outside the Targate. There were stars in the morning east, and they danced to his music. Across the wild bogs his melodeon called to Lennons and Callans. As I pulled on my trousers in a hurry, I knew some strange thing had happened. Outside in the cowhouse, my mother made the music of milking. The light of her stable lamp was a star, and the frost of Bethlehem made it twinkle. A water hen screeched in the bog, mass-going feet crunched the wafer ice on the potholes. Somebody wistfully twisted the bellows wheel. My child poet picked out the letters on the grey stone in silver. The wonder of a Christmas townland. The winking glitter of a frosty dawn. Cassiopeia was over Cassidy's hanging hill. I looked and three whin bushes rode across the horizon. The three wise kings. An old man passing said, Can't he make it talk? The melodeon. I hid in the doorway and tightened the belt of my box-plated coat. I nicked six nicks on the doorpost with my penknife's big blade. There was a little one for cutting tobacco. And I was six Christmases of age. My father played the melodeon, my mother milked the cows, and I had a prayer like a white rose pinned on the Virgin Mary's blouse.